Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of November. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading might not be yours. <laughs> okay, this reading is for somebody we don't know who. These cards do not want to shuffle and my camera didn't, I mean my camera, my a lighter didn't want a light. I mean, it took me quite a few times to, and this is a brand new lighter, okay? So there's something, there's something going on. The kit, these cards are just like a mess, and the camera, the, it was hard to get that freaking lighter to light, and I've used it. There's no reason for that, so I don't know. Something's going on. Anyway, this reading is for somebody I don't know who. Not everybody, okay? Typically, my readings are love readings. We'll see what comes up. And these readings tend to resonate with who needs them the most, okay? So keep that in mind. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Hard work pays off. Maybe you need to put in a little bit more effort to something. I don't know. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but this is needing to be objective about a situation. Maybe you're too firm on your your idea, you know. Maybe you're not willing to make any compromises. Who knows? Let's see. Something is making you feel empty inside. There's a lack of closure in a situation. You may be losing faith. You're not listening to your inner guide at this time. Being really logical, right? You're being logical. You're standing firm on some decision that you made when in fact, you know, maybe you need to, I don't know, open up. I don't know. Act with your, this is heart versus mind. Are you sure you're making the right decision? Are you using your heart? There's some anxiety here. Some, maybe there's even some regrets. I'm not sure. Maybe there's regrets about getting married. I don't know. I don't know. Or not getting married. Or commitment, regret, or something about a commitment, because this is a marriage commitment card. Maybe you're worried about getting married, or worried about getting committed. Fear of growing old alone. Maybe you got married. I'm not saying this is for everybody, but maybe somebody got married because they didn't want to grow old alone. Now they regret it. <laughs> that could certainly be the case. I mean, I don't know, but... This is, you may feel the need to isolate yourself or you're dealing with somebody that is isolating themselves from you. This is a run of bad luck. I mean, it is. I can't pretend that it's not. You may be ready for a fresh new start or you need to take, a, take the next step. Things are a little chaotic right now. You may be you may have too much on your plate. This is the fool juggling. I think that you've had some sort of revelation, Capricorn. You have, and it, and whatever this revelation is, it's like you may feel, you may, it may have to do with making the wrong decision. Maybe you feel like you made the wrong decision, but anyway, let's get some more cards. This is for the whole month of November. So if it doesn't resonate now, you know, things can change. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Taurus. We have Pisces. And we have that things are a little bit chaotic right now. And it's causing you some worry. You're worrying about something. 
You could be even wor worried about legal issues. I don't know. Ooh. Yikes. This is with your partner. You're, there may be some fighting going on with your partner. Okay, this is your partner. You're, there's definitely, you're standing your ground. And somebody is probably pissed off that you're standing your ground, Capricorn. Somebody is not happy that you're standing your ground. Could be, especially if you're a Capricorn man. If you're a Capricorn man, you're probably, you know, standing firm. And you're dealing with a woman who is pissed. Now, there could be two women, just saying. There's definitely some bitterness here, and somebody is trying to control the situation. Somebody is clinging to control. There's power struggles between the two of you, right? So everybody wants to be in control here, right? But you got to remember that the universe has a, has a hand in this too. There's always something going on behind the scenes. Yikes! So there could be two men. I mean, there could be two men. There could be two women. Who knows? But you could be dealing with a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there's a loss of focus here, loss of concentration. It's like there's been a drain in energy because of fighting. Maybe somebody is being cut out. There's a lot of memories resurfacing. And you may feel like you're going, there could be like, a, this is almost like a midlife crisis where there's arguments going back and forth. There's too many people in the mix. It's like, wow. Wow. Yeah, there's third-party situations here. There is. And I don't know. It could be on both sides. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. But I also have to tell you that there could be a completion, an ending on the horizon where there's a divorce, okay, or a breakup, or... Oh, God. There could even be some sort of... What, what has looks like what has happened. There's a reunion with someone from your past. Or a reunion from someone from your partner's past. Or both. Maybe somebody runs into somebody at some sort of celebration and the memories resurface and all of a sudden the commitment is on shaky ground. Somebody's lost their nobility. There's that fool. You are ready. Somebody is ready for a fresh new start. Ready to take a risk. Maybe somebody did take a risk. Maybe somebody, you know. Took that leap of faith. And now there's a price to pay. Yep, somebody's thinking about walking away. Somebody's thinking about walking away from a commitment because somebody acted recklessly, perhaps with somebody from their past. I don't know. This is what I see. There could also be somebody from your past that is coming into your life and there's an opportunity for a reunion and a fresh new start. It can go both ways. And whoever you're dealing with is thinking about it. And you're, there's a lot of thinking going on. Uh-oh. 
so I feel there's an opera there's a, there's a, there's an opportunity for, and this is not really an opportunity but maybe it is for one relationship to end and another one to begin just like that. It's like somebody is thinking about leaving and they're probably going to leave. And then I mean this is a completion but it's reverse. It's like I'm I'm not going to be involved in this feud. I deserve happiness. I'm going to head in a new direction. I deserve love. There's definitely an offer of love here that is coming from the outside, you know, from the outside of the relationship by the looks of things. And it's causing a family feud. There's a family feud here. And I think that there's, there's, uh, somebody is closing themselves off emotionally because of it. It's like, this ain't love. This is emotional shutdown because there's too much fighting going on. I see fighting. I'm sorry. I know that's not what you want to hear. Yep, conflict. Conflict, power struggles. And you may be dealing, you may, you're dealing with somebody who may thrive on getting attention. You know, they want attention. They need attention. So, whatever. They act recklessly, they call some attention in, and they go down that road, and now there's regrets, but it's too late. Yep. Oh, my God. So, I know that you guys, a lot of people aren't going to like this, right? Especially, I mean, there, it's the way it is. People only want to hear the good shit. Well, that's not reality. Okay? That's not reality. There's a breakup on the horizon between two people because somebody may have, you know, acted recklessly and the truth has come out. That's what this is. The secret has been revealed, the revelation we were talking about. And now there's some fighting going on because, you know, the truth has been revealed. And there's, an, there's probably somebody that is shutting down and isolating and retreating with that hermit card. It's like, oh shit, retreat mode. And, you know, therefore it looks like there could be a breakup. Because there's just there's a lot of arguing here. A lot of arguments going on. And something is happening very, very quickly. Maybe some, it happened quickly, right? With the Fool card, somebody may have acted recklessly, took a risk, and now, you know, somebody got hurt in the process. And now there's something that needs to be released. Somebody, this is freeing yourself and this is a breakup. There could be a breakup on the horizon in November because some sort of truth comes out and it cuts like a knife and sends somebody packing. Yeah, there's something that's been being hidden. She's going to hide the good. Something is being hidden. It's going to be buried. Something is going to be buried. She's going to walk away with that key. And the only one that's going to know it's there is her. Something is being hidden. And it has to, and it has to do with the foundation. Four is about foundations, or maybe something that was hidden was found out with this moon card. But there is going to be some sort of happiness that comes out of this. There is, there always is, because with endings bring new beginnings, and I don't need the death card to tell you that. Here we have a celebration, and here we, we have two celebration cards here. So I'm not wondering if this is going to lead to some sort of celebration. 
something more stable, solid. You're being called to get grounded and be realistic and mature. Keep yourself together. What you have to offer is a is a solid opportunity, right? You do. This is something you can t you you can take to the bank. You have something good to offer. And you may be even receiving an offer from somebody if you're single. If you are single, you may be receiving an offer from somebody that leads to a commitment, marriage, something to celebrate. Especially if you are a Capricorn woman. If you are a Capricorn woman, you may be the one making that offer as well. If you're single. If you are coupled, if you are coupled, it looks like you, the woman in this situation, has the stability. Somebody is coming out of a period of emptiness. Now here we have the four, four, three fours. Okay, four, and they're all right together. Four, four, and then the four. We have another four under there. The four of pentacles. Four, four, four. That's angel guidance. There could be like a celebration of the end of that situation. You know what I mean? It's like something has died and now there's a celebration. And you may not, you may be like, are you kidding me? Why would I celebrate that? Well, some people do. Some people are happy to get out of a destructive relationship where there's fighting all the time. Seriously. Somebody's been in a dead end situation and now it's time for that completion with that world card. It's time to step over that finish line, but they haven't yet. Clinging to the control aspect of the situation. But for couples or singles, happiness awaits because this four of wands is here. And fours are angels. All is well. Whatever, all that is happening is happening for a reason. So that you can receive something. You may need to let your friends help you during this time because of the I see the I see the sadness down there with that nine of swords way underneath. Mmm. Yeah, there's some pain here. Three of swords reversed. It's time to release this pain. You may need to forgive. It's time to leave the past hurt behind and Head towards your happiness. That's what this is. You're going to need to forgive to move on. Oh, forgiveness again. This is a think about Judgment Day. What is Judgment Day? Judgment Day is when you go up and you release and you are forgiven. It's forgiven. Forgiven, okay? The truth is some sort of revelation, awakening, epiphany is coming about in November. And it's probably going to affect your, your foundation, your relationship foundation. It's probably going to cause some arguments and could cause somebody to walk right out that door. Somebody's going to make that judgment call because the truth is revealed. You think about a judgment when you go to court and there could be some court. I mean, this is a, this is like law and this, I mean, there could be some court involvement here. This could end up in court.
it looks as though there's going to be some sort of awaken, awakening, epiphany, truth that comes out that is going to need you to forgive and release. In the end, you are going to find happiness. It's gonna. You, what this is bringing you is growth and happiness, extreme happiness. Because you, it looks to me like you've been in a situation that had a lot of power struggles. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with all the other signs I said. But it looks as though somebody in this dynamic is going to need to find their strength to let go. To restrain themselves from fighting. And to forgive. Strength to forgive and release. There's been some cheating. I don't know who this is for, but there's definitely been some uh, deception here. There has. And I think, you know, with this three of wands, I really feel like you may have been hoping for the best. You may have been uh, being as optimistic as you can that this was going to work out. But now you may be like, you know what, it's time for me to... Head out. Leave the past behind. I think that you were prepared for this ending to happen. You just didn't know when it was going to happen. Whew! Bastard. Excuse my language. Wow. Wow. Wow, there's a serious, serious power struggle here between two people. Okay, there is. And this is like a serious power trip, okay? A power trip. Who's, who's going to win this battle? It's not about winning the battle. It's about being happy. And right now, it's about winning the battle, right? Who's going to win? Somebody's going to end up getting hurt. Probably both of you. Emotionally, anyway. Mentally. I think there's going to be some ties that are severed. Because there's been some serious. Sneaky shady behavior. And somebody hasn't been telling the truth. And the truth is about to come out. And leave somebody else out in the cold. So I know this is not what you want to what you want to hear, but I think that somebody is going to be on their own. They're going to be on their own after there's some sort of revelation. Okay, there is. There's some sort of truth that comes out, and I mean, it ain't going to be pretty. It's not. It's not going to be pretty. It's not. Somebody is going to realize the truth. And then they're going to come out of the darkness. They are. They're going to come out of the darkness. And go after a new, another opportunity. Out of self-respect and self-love, they're going to start working on a new foundation. Consider this, I know that you don't want to and you probably are thinking that, you know, you're fucking crazy and whatever. Well, that's fine. Fours, now you have four fours. Okay, you have all the fours in the minor arcana. Four, 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 four. All is well. 
And you may not think it is, but this is angel protection, universal protection. The universe works in mysterious ways. When they remove somebody from your life for who knows what reason, it's to teach you a lesson. This is a lesson, but it hasn't been learned yet, so you're still in the process of it with the world card reversed. There's a lesson being learned here, even though you may not see it. And you're being protected for your highest good, and it's going to lead you down the path towards something a lot happier. A lot, lot, lot happier. By summertime, you'll be a lot, lot happier. And you have somebody else that's better suited for you. Now, this reading is not for every single person. If you are in a happily ever after relationship with a new baby or anything like that, you shouldn't be watching this reading. There is an opportunity. There's a new love connection here. And that is exactly what has happened. There's an undeniable spark with perhaps a perfect match. And it can't be denied. So if you are single, if you're single, be prepared to ha be like not single for much longer, put it that way. If you are single, there is somebody that is coming into your life as if by magic, no kidding, but brought to you from the angels with these fours that you're going to fall in love with and probably get married to. But you've been through hell with a egotistical player who cheated you and lied to you and forced you to find the strength to let them go. That's where you've been. Now you have a new opportunity for love with a perfect match. Congratulations. You've done your work, right? You worked hard to find strength to heal. Strength to heal. No shit. So if you've done that work, be prepared for a new opportunity. If you are in a couple relationship, it does not look pretty. It looks like there is somebody that has come in it, to the picture. Could be um, from both parties. I don't know. But three is a crowd and four certainly is a crowd when you know when the, it's just a big mess. So I feel as though there is a new love on the horizon, Capricorn, that you can't deny. Coming in November. Be prepared for some arguments. If you are coupled, perhaps even a breakup, because with that two of cups reversed, there's somebody here that's incompatible. And if you're single, that's where you've been. You've been with somebody that you were incompatible with and you held on to it the whole nine yards, went through a big power struggle. And now, anyway, there's new love here for couples, singles, whatever, unexpected. There's an unexpected opportunity for love and you have to make a choice between two people. That's what this is. Do you keep it, for those of you that are single, do you continue to hold on to the past hurts? Have you forgiven that so you can move on? Remember we talked about the forgiveness? Whatever. This could, I could go on all day. There's a new opportunity for love here with somebody that is your perfect match that comes into your life unexpectedly and you are, you know, it's like the, the, the knocked off your rocker, you know what I mean? Knocked your socks or knocked off or whatever you want to say. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's just like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. But I can't deny it. So there's an undeniable new attraction, Capricorn, that is going to... Whew, move you in a new direction towards happiness, put it that way. Might, you might face some struggles along the way, but... Ties are being severed in both directions. That's all I can say. And there's a new beginning here in love that could lead to marriage and extreme happiness. See only love. 
Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So Capricorn, I feel as though, and some whoever, somebody could have met somebody at work, just saying. That just came to me. Somebody could have met somebody at work and, you know, whatever. That's just another tidbit. Whatever is happening, by summertime, you should be extremely happy. But right now, there's a new spark that's unexpected. And you have to make a decision. And it's probably not an easy one. Good luck.